Okay, I want to do a video of repairing this uh, Moog Mother 32 that I got in an audio hall from where I used to work, from Dave. Uh, I just plugged it in, and this is what it does when I turn it on. Ooh, this looks quite pretty. At least the lights come on, something happens. And the LFO light, see there's the LFO rate with its flashing light. This is a semi-modular analogue synthesizer. Um, it's had some great reviews and it was brought in by a customer wanting it repaired then had a go but we then realised that it would probably take too much time to repair as the guy that brought it in had actually plugged in the power cable he'd gone inside it himself and plugged in this power cable which runs from the 12 volt power supply on the outside uh, he plugged it in the wrong way around and basically there was 12 volts going through the ground plane of the entire PCB so uh, inside here there are apparently a lot of burnt out components especially on the digital side so it's sequences fucked and all of the buttons don't work they are non-responsive but if I plug it into an audio output or plug it into an amp should we just say you might get some sounds out of it so I'm gonna try that next right so I've plugged it in again and I've plugged it in via here to the amp here so let's find out what to, when we turn up the, what happens when we turn up the volume we have a sound Uh, as you can see, yeah, the lights are still stuck, but when I unplugged it and plugged it in again, uh, the configuration changed, so there's definitely something wrong there. Well, the LFO is definitely working. And we've got a sine wave produced by the resonance being on full. It's a nice filter. Slightly FM sounds there, it's nice. Uh, the patch bay. I'm not going to try the patch bays yet. Just, we just know that it makes sounds, so that is enough. Um, oh, we've got, um, got some nice noise. That's nice. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we've got the VCO mod destination. Yes, yeah, so that's modulation destination source. These are mod source and destination buttons. One there. There's destination and there's source. Envelope generator LFO. Uh, envelope generator, I think, is foot. So we're not going to get much out of that. So it has to be controlled by the LFO at this stage. Some nice sounds, eh? Yeah. Ooh, soundy, nice and soundy. Hello. Okay, for the first part of this, I'm going to be taking all the knobs off, and then the nuts knobs and nuts it's not too difficult I've seen questions on forums about how to take the knobs off on these and basically they are just D knobs and just pull off quite easily or sometimes with a bit of force if it's the first time which I'm not sure if it is with this because the guy before like I said, hacked into it. And didn't do it any good. Got some pliers here. And they're going to start doing the nuts very, very delicately with this pair of pliers. I might actually speed this up. I think I will speed it up. So, right, this is going. Yes, let's have a look if I sit down. You can see me now, can't you? So look, I'm just going to do this very carefully without scratching any of the 
the, uh, the paint work. And I should be doing it with a, a hollow nut. But I haven't got one here, so I'll just do it delicately with a pair of pliers. Loosen the nuts up and then take them off. I'm very interested to know which components got burnt out in this. I actually wrote to Moog, sent him a nice email explaining my position and you know asking for a, a schematic or a service manual at least some got back to me this is three or four days ago I doubt they will <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Washers, sort of loosening up. Out you come. That's it. Out you come. There we go. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh, baby. There he is. Hello, you gorgeous thing. Switch washers. Okay, we'll just put you in there. There you go, honey. Oh my goodness. Well, what could this be? Let's have a look. Hmm. Let's have a look here. Okay, I think I'll go to the table now. And basically, we are in. 